Now, that's one area in archaeology that I find fascinating. Yes. And so I thought it'd be interesting to you, for your audience to talk a little bit about some of those parallels and uh, to, to show, yeah, what was their view of creation? What was their view of other gods? What was their view of the flood? Yes. And we'll see that there are many things that are, that are identical. And then we have to step back and ask the question, how in the world do we explain these similarities? And that's where the interesting answers come in. And the function of the patriarchs in that pagan culture. Yes. And how they were affected by yes. it. Yes. But yet how they remain true to the Absolutely. God of creation. Absolutely. And the God of redemption. Yeah, yeah. Abraham was in no way, Abram was in no way sheltered from the pagan world that he lived in. His father, the scriptures say, was an idolater. Certainly. And so he, he, lived, he lived in a, in a world that was, was just completely controlled by the pagan culture. And we can learn about the God that, that controlled his city and about the beliefs that the people held to, to see just how radical it was to, to follow this Yahweh to a place unknown. And a price to pay at the same Absolutely. time. Absolutely. So what, what I thought would be the best way to begin really discussing this matter is to talk about, yes, archaeology in the Bible and pagan proofs for truth. Yes. And uh, to go into some background information. Let's do it. And in going into the background information, we're going to look at cuneiform tablets. And these are these tablets. The cuneiform is a script again. It was written with a wedge-shaped reed. And it was, it was imprinted or impressed on a, on a um, wet piece of clay. Uh, we know more about a day in the life of the patriarch Abraham than we do about a day in the life of Abraham Lincoln. Just because of the sources that survive. Yes. Yes. So it's, it's remarkable because we have these clay sources, just so how much is out there? Over 500,000 tablets, I think I mentioned earlier, yes. have survived, and, and we'll see that that's only a small portion of what's been excavated. Now, when it comes to archaeology, a lot of people think with archaeology that they have all the answers, that, that they know it all, they're brilliant, they, they have all the answers and everything, but really uh, they're biased, they're influenced by uh, government and pol politics and religion and money and all sorts oh, of yes. things. And I wanted to just point